On March 13th, soldiers officially received the first 20 armored multi-purpose vehicles, AMPVs, from the U.S. Army. These vehicles are classified as armored personnel carriers. AMPVs were delivered to the 1st Armored Brigade Combat Team, 3rd Infantry Division, located at Fort Stewart, Georgia, which will be the first Army unit to field the new vehicle. AMPV is set to replace the M113 armored personnel carriers, which have been in service for over 60 years and are currently utilized by second-level troops such as medical and support personnel. Frontline infantry units will continue to use the M2 Bradley. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how armored multi-purpose vehicle is such an important addition to the U.S. military. Let's get into the details. AMP-V is a sub-project of the Next Generation Combat Vehicle Program. In 2014, the U.S. Army selected BAE Systems' proposal of a turretless variant of the Bradley Fighting Vehicle to replace over 2,800 M113s in service. Five variants of the AMP-V are planned, M1283 General Purpose, 522 planned, M1284 Medical Evacuation Vehicle, 790 planned, M1285 Medical Treatment Vehicle, 216 planned, M1286 Mission Command, 993 planned, and M1287 Mortar Carrier Vehicle, 386 planned. The program is scheduled to deliver 2,897 vehicles at a total cost of $10.723 billion, or $3.7 million per vehicle. The first AMP-V prototype was rolled out in December 2016, and the first production vehicles began rolling out in September 2020. The AMP-V provides soldiers with better protection, mobility, reliability, and interoperability than the legacy M113, and has 73% more carrying capacity than the M113s it will replace. The new vehicle, built by BAE Systems, has the same track and transmissions as the Army's M2 Bradley APCs. The initial AMP-V that was handed over to the U.S. Army is the M1283 General Purpose Vehicle, which comes equipped with a one-man open-top turret. This turret has 360-degree armor plating, as well as bulletproof windows, and has a 12.7mm heavy machine gun. Some variants can also be fitted with a remotely operated weapon station. The driver sits at the front of the vehicle, on the left, and has a single-piece hatch cover that opens to the rear, and four day periscopes, three to the front and one to the left side. The troop's compartment is at the rear of the hull. The soldiers enter and leave the vehicle through a large, hydraulically operated ramp located at the rear of the hull. The hull of the AMP-V is made of new, all-welded aluminum armor with spaced laminate armor fitted to the hull. The front and each side of the hull are fitted with explosive reactive armor to increase protection against anti-tank guided missiles and modern RPGs, or rocket-propelled grenades. The AMP-V armored multi-purpose vehicle is motorized with a Cummins diesel engine developing 600 horsepower which is common to another new BAE Systems-built vehicle in the U.S. Army fleet, the M109A7 self-propelled howitzer. According to the technical features, the AMP-V could run at a maximum speed of 38 miles per hour, or 61 kilometers per hour, with a maximum cruising range of 225 miles, or 362 kilometers. The fuel tanks are now fitted externally on each side of the rear of the hull. Standard equipment of the AMP-V armored multi-purpose vehicle would include an NBC protection system, air conditioning, night vision, and fire suppression system. The AMP-V software provides capabilities that include vehicle management, driver instrumentation, position navigation, vehicle diagnostics, and integration with various external interfaces. Colonel Peter Moon, commander of the 1st Armored Brigade Combat Team, 3rd Infantry Division, stated, 
these modernization efforts increase our capacity to deter adversaries and, if necessary, fight and win in combat. We look forward to the capabilities that AMP-V will bring to the battlefield to ensure we remain lethal and ready to win the fight. Jim Shermer, the Deputy Program Executive Officer for Ground Combat Systems, pointed to COVID disruption, said, We did a lot of struggles in the beginning, but we are pretty confident now that the prime contractor, BAE, has worked through that. They've been delivering on time for the majority of the past year, and the quality problems that we were seeing early on have largely been corrected. So at this point, we're pretty satisfied with where we are. The company is expected to ramp up production. BAE is expected to produce 16 vehicles per month and, with a goal of 197 vehicles per year, could equip a brigade and a half during that period. To keep up with the demand for AMP Vs, the company is planning on expanding its York, Pennsylvania facilities with the possibility of building manufacturing plants at other locations. Napoleon Bonaparte stated, the amateurs discuss tactics, the professionals discuss logistics. For example, in the case of the Russian army in Ukraine, there were many logistics issues. Russian soldiers in Ukraine had to resort to crowdsourcing their own equipment, including medical supplies and GPS kits. Postings on social media sites such as Telegram are filled with appeals for funds to buy first aid kits with syringes, pain-killing injections, and frontline medications. The M113 has been critical in the Army Brigade Combat Team, the U.S. Army's premier armored formation, for decades. The general purpose version is typically entrusted to first sergeants, the top non-commissioned officers in a company-sized unit tasked, in part, with bringing food, ammunition, and medical care to the battlefield. So AMP-V is set to play a crucial role in the U.S. military. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.